Welcome to CC United's slideshow uh, to increase positional awareness in the 11v11 game. This slideshow will not only be a part of our player evaluations for 13 year old players and older, as on day two of the tryouts they'll be trying out for a specific position, but it will improve our team's effectiveness as our players have a greater understanding of each player's role in both attack and def defense. So this is about the um, zonal responsibilities of a central defender. Um, we're going to look at uh, one of the first responsibilities of them and positioning and how they're covering. So we are, um, we are looking at three, which is our left defender, and he is pressuring the ball and providing pressure on the ball. And we're working with our back line here, and as you can see, the central defender is taking a diagonal angle behind covering. Um, our second central defender is shifted over and uh, covered, and our fullback is getting ready for transition out on that side. If you look at our central defenders, they've each moved across one zone with the team giving up the right defender zone. Same on the opposite side, as the ball is shifted across to the right side with the right defender applying pressure to the ball. For the central defender, um, putting providing coverage and shifting across five now shifting across and providing coverage for uh, player number four and our fullback getting ready for that transition pass um, so this is it where we take our two fullbacks out and this is um, where we introduce the piston movement of our two um, central defenders and they're each responsible for the zones centrally behind the midfielders as you can see, five applying pressure on the ball, four providing that coverage when the play switches on the other side, five and four um, interchanging, one step, one covering. Um, and as you can see here, that um, two is about to pressure the ball. Um, they're providing that coverage for him, and there's the balancing play. And when we add the opponents, one is the, one of the things that we need to identify as central defenders is who actually do they cover. Each of the central defenders covers three people. So we're going to identify player number four here and see that he covers the right defender. He also covers the right central midfielder. And he also covers the left central defender. Um, the ball is here. Obviously, there's a player in there. Um, the priority of a central when the ball shift is to cover the zone so as you can see he's left his player which is right in here the striker which five now is marking uh, the left defender is now picking up the uh, trailing striker but the zonal responsibility of the central defender was to cover the right defender first and we bring the ball into midfield and our central defenders um, secondary responsibility defending in midfield is to react when the central midfielder presses the ball. So as you can see here, our right central defender is pressuring the ball. Our right central defender is stepping up. Our left central defender staying at home and getting ready to step into this space to be diagonally behind with our full pinching in. As we go over to the other side, our left central midfielder is pressuring the ball. Our left central defender is getting ready to step out so one of the vital things of uh, zonal defending and our central defender is when they recognize when to choose the zone over the player. And this always must be the case. They always must choose the zone instead of tracking with the runner. So the two reds have pushed two strikers up. Um, the left center midfielder is pressuring the ball. And our two center defenders at this point have chose the man instead of the zone. Um, so what is going to happen here, as you can see with the arrows, the uh, five is going to step in and cover inside, uh, getting ready to intercept that passing lane between the two red uh, attackers. Four is going to shift across and three is going to pinch in two. Um, if the ball was then to switch across to the other central midfielder, four would do the same thing on the other side. And when the ball is played into the striker, um, we remember our zone and um, four steps to the ball because it's in four zone five will swing across and cover um, this slide just goes to show um, that uh, 
same principle of how high we push up the field how we cover the zones our zones don't cover in the back they don't finish coverage in the back they, they stretch the full length of the field uh, two is pressing the ball in, in blue's final third attacking third four is getting in a position to be second defender and covering five is now uh, becoming that right central uh, defender uh, four is the new fullback now and we've pushed on so we can lock the other team into the area close to their goal with three covering um, as the ball goes back central our players shift back and get our shape with four and five getting ready to cover in case the ball gets thrown into central players um, if they had a back four and it went into a player in front of nine and ten and that would of course force six and seven to shift requiring five and four to shift with them um, if it got played into a secondary area or into midfield that required six to step four would go five would cover um, but the two areas here if the goalkeeper chooses to punt it are the zones that the player must be ready to be responsible for one of the trickiest areas is the um, area between the defenders and the goalkeepers um, if the goalkeeper just does choose to step and is in a better position the goalkeeper rules on that one and the central defender steps aside um, so just some final thoughts on your positions um, just making sure that uh, as a central defender you understand the people you're covering so as a central defender in a 4-4-2 you're covering the defender alongside you the midfielder in front of you and the fullback to your side um, whichever side that may be and getting ready to step to move as they do as if an imaginary rope was attached um, making sure you're accountable for your own zones because if you're that central defender they'll push strikers in there so getting ready to step and win the ball when the ball gets played into your zones and then when the ball gets played to the uh, opposing wide midfielder and our fullback steps making sure we get numerical advantage um, in that wide channel and if the ball gets played back inside stepping into that central area making 2v1 in a central midfield area so the other team has to play away um, and the final part is just being aware of our attacking space that we concede behind the back line and then preparation to um, step and attack the ball if it gets played in front of the back line from punts and goal kicks